Hello YouTube land, what's the deal? This is Six Sense, aka The Foo. Yes, that Foo is real and it's on my face. That's what she said. <laughs> Alright, well, what we have here is a little walkthrough tutorial of a fix that I created for the Alesis Multimix 8 USB 2.0 version. That's a mouthful. And that's also what she said. <laughs> so, what we have here is a video that I'm going to show you exactly how the application works, how to tweak it for your own device if you're not using the 2.0 version, if you're using the 1.1 version, the FireWire version, the Multimix 16 version, if you're using another audio interface and you're having the same issues, you might want to try this, alright? What I did here is, actually I'm going to go over the issues that I'm having first. Sometimes I would be listening to audio and glitches and artifacts and then boom, I just hear everything distorted and really choppy and robotic, okay? Um, not what I want. So I have to turn off the mixer, turn it back on to reinitialize the audio device, okay? Sometimes I'll be producing in Logic Pro and my music will start looping and I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't put it to loop and especially this odd loop, right? So I'll stop my audio inside of Logic Pro and it'll continue looping. So I have to turn up my mixer and turn it back on. So sometimes there's like this high pitched buzz noise and I'm like, Bing! or this, you know, like this FM, like buzz kind of thing, right? So I've seen other people have the same issue online in forums and uh, different questions that they ask on the Alesis. Uh, page, they're actually still recommending to use the 2012 drivers. <clears throat> Not a good idea. Though they work, okay, because it's the only stuff that we get for it to work, right? It's still giving us issues, okay? So until they update that, we have to kind of like use this fix that I created, okay? But thank goodness, not for Chef Boyardee. I'm not, you know, I'm not doing no plugs right now. But thank goodness I created this fix and had this epiphany the other day of creating something that would disconnect, you know, the audio device without having me get up every single time to turn it off and back on, right? So I was like, well, let me try to, you know, program this to unload the driver and reload the driver. So in essence, I learned that it's actually not the mixer that's messed up. It's the driver. And of course, since the driver is outdated since 2012, of course, that's the issue, right? Right. Okay, so the uh, other issue I have is when I plug in the headphones and then I unplug the headphones, you know how the default device will, you know, go to the headphones or the built-in output, right? But it takes away the focus of the Alesis mixer. So instead of hearing my YouTube videos or, you know, anything else that I'm listening to out of my speakers, it's actually coming out of my built-in output, not what I want either, okay? So, this actually does a little fix for that too. It actually just reloads the driver. Like I said, it unloads the driver and then reloads the driver. So it reinitializes the Alesis driver and makes it the default audio device, okay? So my other fix is a side program that I installed, okay? It's in the App Store. It's uh, just a couple of dollars. And, um... It's called Boom 1.8.1. That's the version I'm using because version 1.9 offsets and syncs, off syncs the audio on YouTube videos, for instance. So I'll be watching YouTube video and boom, I'm looking at an old school Chinese Kung Fu flick with no Kung Fu. So I have to reinitialize my audio, all right? So this is the program called Boom, okay? And this is an equalizer and it's a... Uh, gain booster okay so it'll boost the volume but I have it at nil and no EQ because I don't need none of that and I have boom volume on because I do want the program active so what boom is actually doing for me in my case is it's just acting as a host for the audio devices okay so I'll go ahead and I will option click the sound icon I'll click on Alesis and you see Boom is still selected because Boom is the host with the most. It's acting as the host for any audio devices that is selected. So, for instance, if you plug in your headphones, that will be the default audio device. So you'll have to run this application that I'm going to show you 
and it'll reinitialize Alesis as your default audio device. Okay, so it's a very simple fix, and here it goes. So I have the Alesis re in it, which is reinitialize. Okay, just double click that, and when that pops up, it says enter your administrator password. This administrator password is just one character for me because that's my password, just one character. And if I click OK, it's going to remove the audio device, so unload the leases driver and then reload it. Okay, so I'll click OK. As you see, audio device has been removed. Parentheses, Beach Bull, and no parentheses. Reinitialized. Simple as that. Okay, so now every subsequent run, the password I entered is going to stay there. So if you change your password, just delete that, re-enter your new password, and click OK. And boom, next time you run it, you don't have to enter your password again because it's already saved inside of the program, okay? So here is the actual scripts, okay? These are the scripts for the program that I created. This no HPW is no hidden password. So I'll show you. I'll run this, type something. You can see every single letter that I type, okay? That's the no HPW, no hidden password. You open up the with hidden password and you run it. It's the same thing as you have here with this Alesis re init, but I created that for a specific reason for you guys that do not have the 2.0 version. And I'll get into that in just a second. So this no password is if you don't want a password, which is how I like it. I don't want to deal with a prompt every single time. I just want to click, have it reinitialize, and keep going, right? So, if you double click that, it'll open up Apple Script Editor, okay? And you'll see here, my password. So replace that my password with your password, okay? And then replace this one, my password, with your password again, your administrative password for your system. And then click on File, export and then from script to application you save it and now you have a no password version okay so that you can just drag into the applications folder and you're good to go okay so that's that now once you have it in your applications folder you can just drag it you know into your dock and just have it as a one click program that'll just be available at any given time for you, okay? Wonderful, so aside from that, the next thing that I was going to go over is if you have a different device that's not the Alesis USB 2 mixer, okay? You want to replace this text, okay? And this text here with your driver from system library extensions. So whatever driver you have that you want to reinitialize, take that name and put it here in placement of this text, okay? So replace this text here with the full name, including .kext, and you'll be good to go. Make sure that that little quotation mark at the end stays there, okay? and then do the same thing file export script to application and save into whatever location that you want okay so it's as simple as that and now the uh, driver for me you know hasn't been updated since uh, 2012 I've been having this issue with Mavericks and Mountain Lion um, hopefully you know they do come out with a fix or an update to the driver soon um, in the meantime this is all we have to work with, but it does work, okay? So I hope this helped, guys, and if you have any questions at all, if you use a different audio device than I, please comment below, name the device, type out the name of the extension, which is, uh, you know, not the extension, but the driver name, okay? So the .kex file that you are using for your audio interface, and just plug it into the comments below so other people can benefit from your knowledge as well, okay? So, I love sharing. This is why I'm creating this video for you guys. And if you have, again, any questions, 
please feel free, don't hesitate. So comment, subscribe, like the video, and God bless. Happy producing, guys.